Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is another um, heavy duty finesse style jig. In the vise, we got a 5 16th ounce weedless round head. You can see the, the hole for the FG30. Uh, 5 16th ounce has a 3 aught victory 11 796 hook. Um, again, I'm, I'm just trying these hooks out. And this is a little bit different. This is something, um, once again, we're doing a pattern that I have not tried before. Um, it's what I call paint inspired patterns. And I might make a series of these things because, uh, when you, when you, you're doing this and you're designing your jigs for your waterways and places you're going to fish and species you're targeting, uh, sometimes, uh, you can get our form of rider block. Uh, I call it color block where you kind of don't know what what you're going to do. And then all of a sudden a new paint will come out or a new uh, color of silicone or something. And it immediately jump starts your brain and you can come up with all kinds of patterns for it. And that's what brought me to do this video today is which is why I'm calling it a paint inspired pattern. Um, I'm going to rely on your help. Uh, to come up with a name for it, because I don't have anything. It's new. But uh, what we're going to do with this is how I'm going to show you how I develop a pattern, and I'm doing it based off the paint for this one. And the color of this is called Bamacraw. It's a, a new one. And I you can't see it, but there's you might catch a glimpse of the light reflecting off the glitter but there it's it's a sandy uh gold type color and it's got this real fine um i'm guessing it's holographic gold because it has it, it does have a gold appearance at some parts but when the light hits it it reflects almost like a copper so um and real fine black flake in it again the lighting doesn't do the color justice but I got this paint and I got material that worked really well with it uh, so I tied one up and I thought boy this this looks pretty good and I'm gonna see what you guys think and um, hopefully somebody can come up with a good name for it again 5 16 ounce 3 aught hook and we're gonna start with some black Two ten denier flat wax nylon thread. And we'll just get a little bit of a base start it. Done. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this material here. It's a stripe material from Barlow's. It's black pumpkin tan and copper glitter. And the glitter profile just really fits with this, as well as the color motif. Um, that black tan and, and pumpkin that's in here really uh, seems to match. It has, nice, um, it has nice elements of matching the color, as well as some contrast colors. So it, it, uh, it seems to be really nice for this. But, uh, of course, uh, I'll let the fish and you guys be the judge. But I, I, I'm already digging this um, a lot. So I took a half a tab of that, and we're just going to work it around. We're getting a, I think we're going to have a 44 strand skirt when we're said and done. And it, again, don't worry about it. And if you have a little gap or something, it's not a big deal. Just want to make sure you don't have any real um, bare spots. You want it all the way around. And it looks pretty good. Next color I'm going to take is this um, gold fish scale really nice it's a really nice color gold it's not 
um, it's not too dark or too bright of a gold, but it's got a lot of like this fine gold crystal in it that really reflects light. I'm going to put that here over top of this color. And again, same way, just work it around. You get full coverage of it. I should have cut the tabs in half is what I should have did and put half on one side, half on the other. Then I could eliminate uh, trying to weasel this material around because you got to get it tight, tight enough on the bottom that the material underneath doesn't move. Yeah, that's... little bit of a bare spot over here with that gold that again doesn't have to be perfect because you got enough black in here that we're getting some of that contrast so uh, you could kind of get away when you have a darker contrasting color you can get away with uh, not being perfect in the distribution now we're gonna take a full tab of this uh, black pumpkin tan copper glitter deal. But what I'm gonna do, since there's 22 strands, I'm gonna count out 11 of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. And I'll cut the tab in half. I was going to try to do it the quick way, but it's a pain, so I'm going to cut the tab in half. I'm going to put the tan side up, since we have the black side up with the first one. So you have a tab and a half of this striped material, and a half a tab of uh, the gold fish scale. And you're just going to make it that it goes halfway around. Put a couple of wraps in there to hold it down. And the same thing. Once I'm satisfied where the material is at. Pull it tight and then we'll finish our collar the gold color trailer um, maybe even a uh, watermelon would probably work but something gold or um, a lighter color pumpkin that's what you'd be looking at and I actually have uh, a trailer color that works really well with this Bama Craw uh, it's this Prowler and these are discontinued but it's a Prowler Lures small pro eel chunk and it's in this golden pumpkin it's called and it really matches this um, head color almost perfect dare I say perfect I have to make sure I get all my uh, silicone material now you just got to whip finish it and we're done. Um, whip finish and trim our material. Three, four. Oop. Snagged. Five. Six. Have to get our 
silicone material out of the way here. That one piece is just sliding down ever so bit, and, and it's giving me a headache. One, two, three. Now, we'll take our Loon water-based head cement. Once we're done with this, you'll see how this, how the, the colors match and contrast. I think he's all, um, I like it. Like I said, I, I, I going to see what you guys think, but, um, I really enjoyed this one. I, when I tied the first one up, I've done four of them so far. Just because I think it's going to be, uh, really good this year. I'm going to be another one that I really, I'm going to put through the ringer. Again, about always err on the side of long because you can trim the back end. But I always go with like an inch and a half. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to put our um, weed guard in. And we'll throw our, our trailer on there. Our pro wheel chunk. Normally I don't like using something that you guys can't get. Or I know somebody that can make them. You know. Uh, but in this case the color is just so perfect. Remember super glue gel. I know I always say it like a broken record. But. That's what you want for your weed guards, not regular super glue, but super glue gel or epoxy. It's something that isn't going to wick up the fibers. Okay, our weed guard is in. Now we're going to draw our pro wheel chunk trailer on there. Man, hooks are nasty sharp. And there you have it. Again, I have no name for this. It's part of, uh, I, I think I'm going to do a series. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would want to, uh, would be interested in it. Because that's what I'll do is, uh, I'll do patterns that, um, were developed just because of the paint color paint inspired patterns but tell me doesn't that match that bama craw paint pretty well i think it does anyway um let me know what you think come up with a name for it and uh leave it in the comment section i appreciate it thanks for watching